Hey, welcome to the Caribou Data Science channel. It's uh, Monday evening, uh, September the, uh, the 28th. It's about 8.30 in the evening. I'm sorry, I'm a little late getting my reports run. I got tied up with other personal matters earlier today. So let's just go press do a quick walkthrough of all the reports. Okay, let's do a quick run through of Spain's numbers. Okay, here we go. It's, uh, so here's the U.S. cases by date. Or I'm sorry, this this is the Spain. This is Spain's cases by date. Um, the, the 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 spike up in cases is continuing once again. These are this is Mondays. So the, this here is probably on Monday. So it's last Monday. So unfortunately, this number here is the total for. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And, the, and these are the totals. The lower ones are the totals from, from Monday through Friday. Okay? But the trend is clearly still up. Now let's take a look at the deaths. A little bit of spiking here. Let's see. That's 9-4. Nine, 9-4 four. Nine, four is Friday. 9-22. Usually, okay. But again, uh, this is 250. This here is 184. This is not 84. So the average right now is about 156 deaths per day, maybe. Okay, and here's a close up of the current spike. You can see the trend continues upward, although it's really hard to. A little, di a little different plot. This is deaths by date from, from June onward. Uh, the blue line again is, is a 14 moving average. I decided to try a column plot here. But again, once again, the, uh, well, if this is deaths for the current thing, you had a spike up till here, but it appears that it may be decreasing here now. So maybe there's a, a glimmer of hope, or maybe we are going to see deaths begin to decline. Okay, so here we go. So again, the cases are continuing to climb upward on even a weekly basis. While the cases are deaths are staying fairly flat. Okay, months numbers, you can see that September's cases are already well past August. Deaths past August also. I guess if there's a glimmer of hope, it's that it hasn't caught uh, eight May's numbers yet. So this is August. We have what, three days to go, today, two more days to go in September. And we'll see what happens at that point. So that concludes the report for Spain. Let's just come over and let's run an update here. Uh, okay, let's move on to our next report then, which should be Israel. Israel, of course, has been struggling uh, with uh, struggling with COVID-19, both cases and maybe not so much death, but definitely, definitely a struggle.
So this is Israel's battle. Uh, they're averaging 859, 855 cases a day, uh, but only like five and a half deaths per day. So let's take a look at the, the plot. So once again, you can see the moving average. You see the spikes up here. And the question is, are they also doing a holding off on certain days for their, for their data? But you can see that the 14-day average is slowing a slight decline back over here for cases. Deaths are climbing. Again, but they're between, say, 20, for the most part, between uh, 10 and 40 cases, 40 deaths per day. They're outpacing the moving average quite a bit. It does appear to be a little decline here. That remains to be seen if, it, if it's going to take any effect. They're, of course, into a two-week quarantine, and we'll watch to see if this really makes any difference. Uh, my unqualified opinion is it probably isn't going to make a, uh, any difference long term because, because, because unless you get rid of every single case of COVID-19 in Israel, the moment you open it back up, the cases will, will begin to climb again. So close, but, but the good news is closing down quarantine does save lives. Okay, does save lives, but it won't, but it won't remove completely remove uh, the COVID-19 virus. We know that we know that. That it doesn't remove the virus because of because of the Spanish flu. They went through three waves of shutdown, basically. Mask and you know they, they went through basically three waves of what we're doing now with wearing masks and, and isolation and social distancing. Three waves, and it wasn't until the fourth wave that the virus began to actually really subside. So anyway, let's come down take a look at the, a, a close-up look. Nothing surprising. Well, you do see that the, that the uh, average is, is falling here a little bit. We're still seeing a couple of large spikes. Deaths, a little clear picture of deaths, still trending upward, but it is, it is closing down here. Excuse me. Okay, so this is the cases from June from, from, from June onward. Nothing surprising. Deaths uh, are holding steady. Well, I'll hold steady, but are calming also. All they've closed the last couple of days. But you can see here the spike continues upwards. Although there's a chance that uh, that may we may this week may finish below these over here. We'll see. Deaths. Okay, so. Uh, so the total cases so far for all for September are over. Uh, well, what is that? Uh, nine nine thousand, ninety thousand, a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand. Well, the, the the cases for the month of September for Israel are close to one hundred twenty thousand. Okay, deaths are close to four hundred. See, this is two, three, four, five. Uh, right now the deaths for the for the month of September is maybe five hundred and fifty. Possibly. So that's our that's our conclusion for for Israel for tonight. That concludes the report for Israel. So let's just come back over here to files. Let's see who's next on our hit parade. Israel, oh, the state of Ohio. Let's come down here and see exactly what's going on with the state of Ohio. Let's see what Ohio's up to. Okay, well, 
this is good news. The cases are continuing to decline in Ohio. Uh, excellent. Deaths are remaining relatively flat. I mean, the average is about 20 some. This is this is 40. So maybe 20. We're averaging maybe 25 today between these highs and lows here, these peaks and lows here. You can see the cases by week. Uh, well, the good news is these three bars are below this one here. So I'm going to call that a victory of some type, maybe a, a partial victory, but a victory nonetheless. Deaths are averaging between, say, 100 and maybe 200 a week, all of these here. Most of the weeks are between 100 and 150 deaths a week. Cases a month, September there's a chance that September's cases will not catch August cases with two days to go. August deaths, ooh, this is going to be this is going to be tight. Of course, August has an has the advantage of an extra day, but we'll see what's going on with that. So September could deaths could catch uh, August's deaths in uh, in, uh, in September. Monthly mean, not quite sure how to use this date, honestly, but uh, so it's saying for the week, this week here, we averaged uh, 1,200 cases. Okay. That's pretty much the same. Ohio monthly bar, mean bars, cases. Top five county for cases for the last eight days, Franklin. Uh, Montgomery and uh, Hamilton Montgomery are, are neck and neck at 60 cases. Uh, we can look here and we can see that... Uh, as far as deaths for the last eight days, Green, Hamilton, and Summit had one death each. This is a, this is Franklin County's numbers, case numbers. Uh, you can see they had a spike here, a spike here, but now it appears to be moving back down towards the 100 cases per day. Uh, we had a spike here for some reason, not quite sure why. But you can see the general trend, is still, while, it's, while it's higher than this, is still below this line here. So the... And the general trend is still downward for Franklin County as far as cases are going. Okay. That takes care of the state of Ohio. Let's update the, let's update the, uh, the, 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 the uh, web page. Okay, where are we now? Let's see. So Pakistan should be next. Pakistan. Change the date. On the report, Pakistan's numbers have looked pretty good so far. Pretty good, particularly considering the fact you got over 200 million people there. Uh, the blue line is a low west line, L O E S S, or low west line, L E W E L O W E S S. Red line is the actual daily cases. So you can see that the cases are starting to trend upward again. Uh, maybe even deaths are going up a little bit, all the pretty much flat. Let's take a closer look. You can see cases trending back up here. Okay, here's a, here a low point, trending up. Deaths are pretty flat. I mean, the deaths are under, what, 25 per day? You know, here you can see on a weekly basis, you can see that the, that the cases are definitely trending upward. While deaths are staying relatively flat, because this is 125 and this is less than that, so this could be maybe 75 for the week, something like that. Uh, monthly totals, you can see there's a chance that September cases may pass August cases in Pakistan. Although it's looking pretty good that September's numbers will not catch August, September deaths will not catch August deaths. So overall, Pakistan continues to be doing extremely well so far with their Managing COVID-19.
guess that's Pakistan. And let's see who comes up next. It should be the U.S. Okay. Now it's back to the good old USFA. Let's run our plots here. Okay. So you can see we had this long period of decline in cases with some volatility. And this is this is coming a little bit, but who knows? We can wait and see what that last couple of days if the if the number of cases start to drop a little bit in the US. Okay. Cases by day. Death is seen still a little bit of a trend downward. Okay. All right. So that's encouraging news as always. Our case more emphasis on deaths than cases. So it's one reason because we'll never really know how many cases we have. We, we should we should have a pretty good hand on one number of deaths. So here's the number here's the cases looking from June the June spike onward. Clearly trending upward here. Okay, clearly trending upward here. But the deaths, according to low as, is, is, is trending down. It's trending down from here down to there. Okay? That's extremely good news. Here's the cases for the U.S. You can see it's starting to trend back up here. Although this, this week probably will not reach this one here. Deaths, you can see, are basically still are still trending down, even on a weekly basis. All right. Uh, cases, monthly cases and deaths. Well, the good news is it looks like September will not catch August death, August cases. So that's extremely good news. And there's a pretty good chance that September's deaths will not catch August deaths, even even if we take into account the extra day. Okay, so I'd say overall, I mean, to me, the most important, this is sort of interesting, I'm not sure how good it is, but it's plotted a 14-day moving average against a 30-day moving average. Not sure what that tells us, but it is, of course, another way to look at the data. So anyway, I'd say, I'd say it's looking pretty good, folks. Listen to me here. Listen to me in the U.S. The sacrifices that me and you are making is working. That wearing the mask, the social distancing, even sheltering in place when necessary, avoiding unnecessary trips, is clearly making a difference in the deaths. There's no other way to explain it. Deaths are declining, and I, I believe very shortly, in the next couple of days, cases will resume their decline also. So folks, stick with the program, wear the mask, practice social distancing, avoid unnecessary trips, and we will, and we will, and we will lick this problem yet. We will, we will beat the COVID-19 virus in the U.S. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll catch you in a, a, tomorrow.